The car comes into frame, slows, shots fired. A homeless man hit in the shoulder by a bullet. He lived here in what's become a permanent encampment on Venice Boulevard. I fear for my life. I really do. Tony lives right next door. One of so many residents afraid and fed up. It's horrible. It's terrible. I've been here for 38 years peacefully until they come along with their drug dealing and their gang activity. I know it's unconstitutional to kick people off the sidewalk because you haven't provided them a place to live, but now you had a second shooting here. So what is it going to take to get something done? This past summer, another shooting in this same location. Police say it was gang to gang, not aimed at the homeless still. And the people who live in the encampment, like Candy from Texas, accept the risk. She's been offered services, doesn't want to go. What's life like living under an overpass? It sucks. It's very hard. Especially for a woman, it's hard. There's no place for you to go? I could go to a shelter, but I'd have to go by myself, so. What's wrong with that? Uh, I don't want to do that. So with attitudes like that, neighbors have little patience left, and police understand. It's frustrating. It's frustrating for uh, the, the good folks that live in this area and, uh, and the police department who is also trying to uh, manage the situation. The LAPD says this is a priority, but they're limited by laws and resources. We've just been working methodically and slowly trying to uh, get these people connected to housing. And uh, when they're not compliant with housing, uh, uh, when appropriate, we try to make an arrest if we can catch somebody with uh, narcotics or other uh, criminal violations. There's also frustration here by some with City Councilman Mike Bonnet, who's very involved in helping the homeless, but made this comment in a January Hollywood Reporter article. I can't accept the idea that there is an inextricable link between crime and homelessness. It is wrong, and it's not backed up by the data and leads to bad policy. Back live, the councilman's representative said what he meant is that not all homeless people are criminals, and of course, not all crime is committed by homeless people, which folks here certainly understand doesn't alter what happened or the fact that they're very upset. By the way, all of those tents that you see under the overpass, they were completely gone this morning, part of a periodic sanitation and LAPD cleanup. And an hour after the police and the sanitation folks left, everybody was right back as if they'd never been here. An example of how difficult this complex issue is to try to solve. Reporting live in Mar Vista, I'm Phil Schumann, Fox 11 News.